today uh, is uh, an important day. Uh, as you know, the, the ongoings that have been happening in the assembly for the last uh, four days uh, regarding some purported uh, change that have been done uh, on the leadership of Azimio. When you want to have a leadership change, or when you have, when you want to elect an, uh, leaders uh, on, on coalitions, there are procedures that need to be followed. And I think that will be elaborated more by, by our able uh, majority leader. Uh, what happened was illegality, but uh, we never came to this assembly to fight uh, with the individuals or with the speaker, because this is an institution of uh, law and, and order. Uh, and this institution needs to be respected. Tare Tatu Tulitumua, former majority leader, and by Sahi Ayuko, Namimi Jonashkia Sasa Hapa Koya Nafasi, for a Ningi Sana to Mutisha Mkutano, Kama Azimio, Namedinda Kuitisha. Now here in the Sababisha Shidayote, Sababu Mepereka Pale, Kama Majority Whip, when Azimio Kandika Barua. Na wasemi watonta kuwa na, 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 na meeting ya azimio, lazima uwe ukubali kama majority whip. So ile notice pia tulitoa ndio hii kwa mbele yangu. To all members of the coalition are, are invited for consultative meeting on the 3rd of September 2023 at Rabat, uh, executive uh, hotel at 9. Na hiyo meeting ilitendeka bila majority whip. Sasa tukaanza kumtoa ye, sababu ye ndi alanza shida ya kwanza. Halikata kutupatia nafasi ya kukutana. This incident happened while we were on official foreign trip in United Kingdom, London. It's clear in the law that when a political party or a leader is removed from the office, there need to be a communication from office of the whip inviting members to, to come to that meeting with the shared agendas at least seven days prior to that meeting.